guys Mulaini. welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you're new please do subscribe if you like the content of course let's get started with the video i guess you guys are watching this video well some of you guys are watching this video because you are interested in having your own fashion store or clothing brand or fashion line and i'm going to be telling you guys how to go about if you are interested in starting a business in fashion i'm going to use a combination of knowledge which is things that i have researched and googled and as well as my personal experience i do have uh, my notebook with me because i did make some notes in case i do forget to talk about something first and foremost you need to have a plan you need to have a plan and not a business plan per se you have a plan know what it is that you want to sell who it is for and where the person is and know who you are targeting know who your customer is know what problem your clothing will solve or your brand will solve and all of that stuff like have a buyer persona just have a basic plan okay this is what i'm selling this is how i'm going to get the clothing and if i'm getting the clothing for this price i'm going to add a certain percentage of markup and i'm going to sell my clothing through an online store and sell my clothing through whatsapp and sell my clothing through social media and all of that those things the first way is you can stop stock up your clothing from a wholesaler you could stock up in johannesburg and know in joburg um there are people who, who are runners you can stock up your clothing in johannesburg small street in cape town as well in charlottetown but the one in paddocks you can also get um wholesale prices there but i need you guys to be careful of something don't buy something that is easily accessible like there's some clothing items that every second insta boutique store sells and the competition is tight there in terms of pricing so be careful not to to buy anything at Kapakileyo, yeah, understand anything that's popular, everyone has it, everyone is selling it, because then you might struggle a bit with selling the items. But if you get items that are unique, if you get items that are of good quality, then you are able to also stand out, and you are unique in your your store whenever you buy clothing wholesale you will be getting a discount and so with most wholesalers you need to order like a minimum say of six pieces that's as far as i know five or six pieces and the second way is also reselling but not buying the items wholesale even if you love vintage clothing and if you love thrifted clothing you can buy thrifted clothing this is a growing industry i do not want to lie to you guys it is growing it is going to be a booming industry the resale market is going to be a booming industry so you can sell vintage clothing as well you can sell thrifted clothing and you get the clothing in thrift stores in charity stores sorry and one way to find charity store would be to google so when i moved to cape town for instance i i didn't know where to get thrifted clothing then i googled i went to google and you type charity stores in joburg or charity stores in pe uh, all the, the the registered charity stores will show up in your google search so the advantage of um going through this route you don't need to have like so much money to start up so much capital to start up because the clothing is quite cheap and it is um very nice and unique you get nice pieces and timeless pieces there is a downside though and the downside is that <laughs> you get one item of each design so 
if I get this holy neck, this is it. This is the only poly neck I can get in a size large. So you get this poly neck and you sell this poly neck and you find out that 10 other people want this poly neck and it's literally impossible because you only have one of this top. So that's the disadvantage of, of the, the whole thing as much as it is also an advantage. And you also have to keep in mind that you have to individually take pictures of the items individually, model, which I do encourage that you model the clothing, model the clothing and it is a lot of work. I don't want to lie to you personally being there. And then the third way to go about is drop shipping. Drop shipping is basically, say we have a manufacturer here who manufactures bags and I see this bag and oh this bag is nice and I advertise this bag on my platform and I get a customer who wants this bag. The manufacturer sells the the bag for 100 rand and i add my own markup and i sell it for 200 so the customer buys the bag i take my 100 rand which is my profit i give the manufacturer their 100 rand and the manufacturer delivers to the customer without any packaging from the manufacturer so if the manufacturer is pimp i'm just making an example on the package it won't say pep okay it will just be addressed so i will take the details of the customer give them to the manufacturer and the manufacturer then ships the product to the customer so that is what drop shipping is and that is how the drop shipping chain works personally i recommend that before selling the things you know what the quality is like and you know what the shipping time is guys shipping is a very sensitive topic when it comes to buying stuff online if i buy something the moment i give you my money i want assurance that i'm going to get it and if it's going to take a month to deliver my product then tell the customer like set expectations that this is going to take a month before they even give you your money this is going to take a month to get to you and if they say okay it's fine i don't mind waiting then they can wait and it's even better to even if you know it could take two weeks it's even better to over deliver and under promise all right so over deliver under promise and say it's going to take a month and then if they're like okay then it takes two weeks then great you have a happy customer at the end of the day because they waited for the product to get to them within the month whereas it actually took a shorter time so putting that into mind like know what time scale is from your manufacturer and as well as the quality another thing i also do want to encourage if you guys are like looking into this option of drop shipping also get the product first and shoot it yourself so that it has your own individual touch so with drop shipping um there is a store called drop store i'm going to include links uh for the store in the in the description box down below so there is a store called drop store um, whereby actually with drop store it is a whole lot of manufacturers not only fashion you also do get um like gadgets home stuff um outdoor things pet things everything everything and anything you can get there on drop store um there is um money that you pay though i think it is the cheapest plans 100 rand per month and then the second uh, store, which I know has um, offers the drop shipping option, is Planet Fifty Four. Planet Fifty Four has something that is called an e-tailer. 
program so with that you actually have to apply for that and they go to ask you a series of questions and all and they review your application and then if you your application is um, approved then you can become a planner 54 reseller so um, once again i'll include the links in the description box fourth way to go about is designing your own clothing you are designing the clothing not necessarily yourself you can go to a a design house which does all these things for you or if you are good at designing and you can or if you are a designer then you can always do the work yourself but if you're not a designer and you want to do your own designs you need to go through a route of a cmt cmt stands for cut make trim and that is exactly what they do. So before going to a CMT, you need to have a pattern, okay? Now, a pattern needs to be done by someone who can do patterns. It also needs to state the measurements and all, and there's also something that is called grading. This consists of different parts of course, right? So if I want to, 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 to produce this and have this done, I need to go to a pattern maker and I need to say, I, I need to show the pattern maker, okay, this is what I want. And I want a pattern for this. And they're going to say, okay, fine. And if I want to offer this in a size small to extra large, then I say, I want this in the sizes small to extra large. So that is what we call grading, where basically they take a pattern and they grade it differently according to different sizes, okay? So that is what a pattern maker does. And pattern making is expensive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Hey! I didn't know pattern making is expensive okay so you need to make sure if you're going through that route that you have enough capital because pattern makers baby they are expensive okay you take your patterns you go to a cmt cmt hi cmt i these these are my patterns and i want to have three of each um of these sizes made maybe then the pattern maker, that the CMT, sorry, then the CMT will tell you, um, will give you a quote, how much it will cost, and what is the turnaround time, and all of those things. Okay, so you go to a CMT when you already have your pattern. Otherwise, if you go to a CMT without having a pattern, it's going to be a waste of your money. And fabric and most CMTs will tell you I only work with patterns so you you need to have the patterns to include uh, more CMTs down in the description box um, these are places that are also so online guys you can also Google Google is a best friend go online and type CMTs in Johannesburg um, Google will populate a whole lot of CMTs in Johannesburg. I don't want to lie to you. Another way uh, to go about if you want to have your own designs is to hire a seamstress, okay? If you hire a seamstress, it needs to be someone who, who can do patterns as well and drop patterns as well so that you don't waste extra money like getting patterns or having patterns done before sewing the clothing i'm so sorry about the the sound i don't know what it is um i did keep quiet for the longest time because i thought it was a bell or something like a school bell but i, I really don't know what it is um so i hope it is not really annoying so that is the different ways on how you can actually get the stock first but definitely not the least i'm going to give you one word okay start starts you'll figure things out on the way you won't have everything figured out right now and even if you do have things figured out 
once you are in this business and you're doing the thing you will change most of the things i'm quite sure of that so just start and everything don't doubt yourself i do and hope that um you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions do ask me in the comment section down below maybe in my next video if you guys have questions i will unpack the questions asked and i will answer the questions asked and thank you so much for watching this video if you're new here please do subscribe i mean if you watch the video like up until this point please make my day by subscribing to the channel like the video and i hope you guys have a lovely day further thank you see you in my next video bye